We start off, though, with the signs that the markets may have gotten a little ahead of themselves this week. Shares of Walmart diving 8 percent, their worst day since May of last year. The big box retailer posting an earnings beat, but gave cautious guidance for the holiday quarter. But that wasn't the only reason for concern. New data showed home builder sentiment fell to its lowest point in a year. Oil prices have dropped 5 percent as a rise in inventory suggested slowing demand. And weekly jobless claims climbed to a nearly two-year high. So does this all mean that the soft landing investors seem to want to be priced in into the markets? Maybe a little harder than hoped. Guy. Yes. I mean, it's interesting. So the answer to that question, I think, is yes. I mean, the data suggests that things are slowing down. The jobless claims is the thing I think you have to focus on. This is now a trend, I believe, and I think we're on our way to somewhere between 45 and 5 percent in unemployment. And it's not going to happen in a linear way. I think it's going to happen in a very uh, quick way. I don't think the market will like that. But getting back to Walmart quickly, the quarter was fine. The only thing that might have been disappointing, operating margins, maybe a touch light, it was, again, what they said, the guidance, and kudos to Tim and Dan, who said this would be the quarter that the chasm between Target and Walmart collapses, and that's exactly what's happening. But it's not an indictment so much on the quarter. I think it's the commentary on top of the commentary that we heard from Target that should be concerning for people. Think slightly more cautiously about the consumer versus 90 days ago. Slightly more cautiously. That didn't seem to me like an 8 percent decline, and yet it was an 8 percent decline because of that Valuation. Yeah, but this is a stock that's been bulletproof on the way up in really difficult conditions. And when I hear about a 300 basis point hit on grocery uh, and I hear about disinflation in grocery, I mean, we're going to I said some things that I'm going to get roasted on later <laughs> in the show yesterday. I also said, though, uh, a couple of things that with regards to Walmart, this is a case where inflation is great for grocers. It's great for retail. And you have disinflation in food. You have deflation in general merchandise, which most people attach to Target. Um, but again, it gets back to a company now that's trading uh, on 24 estimates, which will come down a bit around 26 times forward. So, look, I love Walmart. I actually think they have room for multiple expansion. I think they've made a lot of investments in technology. Walmart Plus, advertising. They have new cash streams that are meaningful. Uh, but this was, uh, I, I think Guy's right, this, this wasn't really about the consumer. Um, and, and back to the data today, I mean, jobless claims, um, you know, remember, we were expecting bad data. We wanted bad data to be, you know, good news. We wanted actually stocks and bonds to trade in the same direction, except for when you get enough of this bad data is what you find is bonds go higher and stocks go lower. Yeah, I would actually agree with that. In terms of the data that we saw and continuing claims, that's the data that we're looking for to actually show that the economy is slowing. That's actually indicative of even a soft landing, that it's not a recession, but a slowdown. So we want to see that come through in the data. I think with the retailers, the most obvious thing to me is how they were priced coming into this. Mm -hmm. And so how they were priced, that really drove the reaction. So you had half of the retailers, which got a bounce off the back of earnings, and it was really around inventory maintenance and really kind of controls around inventory. And this was more about the outlook going forward. And so that outlook, which is showing a little bit of a weakness in the consumer and a little bit of a slowdown. Yeah, they did say that traffic was okay still. Transaction count was okay. So the consumer did go into the store, although they may have been thinking more about what they were spending and sort of budgets. Yeah, I mean, and that's something that we've been highlighting a little bit. I mean, that's some of the data that we've just been seeing. You know, I think on Monday night we talked about this this poll that the FT ran, and they were just saying that, you know, consumers, or at least ones that responded to this poll, are, are not even, it's not just discretionary stuff. It's also staples, too. And I think you got to go back to September, the last time Walmart was making a new all-time high. Remember, that stock sold off 9% over a couple of weeks. All the consumer staples stocks got hit. And it was because the data started coming in weaker um, as it related to consumer. I know there was some other things kind of tied in there, but I think the Walmart is interesting. You know, people use that expression all the time that stocks are, in general don't crash off, off of all-time highs. Go back to 2022. This stock was trading. It was trading as an outlier to the rest of the stock market as this market was correcting in the first half. And remember, it came off of an all-time high, and then it had a huge gap. And it was really in the doghouse for a while. It wasn't until they got a lot of these inventory um, situations corrected. And then it was the beneficiary that Tim's talking about is being a beneficiary as it relates to um, consumables and the like here. So I, I don't know. I, I don't love the fact in retail that there's very few names. Costco is another one that really trade as an outlier. A lot of retail stocks trade particularly poorly. And I'll just kind of lump it into what's going on with these Lilly and what's going on with the mega cap tech stock. There's a few stocks in each sector that have done really well. And it right. seems like all the positive enthusiasm or a positive sentiment is wrapped up in them. And they have the ability to go the other way, too.